Alright people out there, uh, I'm just going to be talking to you about today about Modern Warfare 3 and all about its weapons, every single weapon in the game, all about the, um, the power, good weapons to use, all the kill streak rewards, there's, like, there's a new kill streak packages called strike packages and I'll explain that in 100% detail to you and what all the kill streaks do. I'll also explain everything about the prestige shop and how many prestige tokens you get and weapon proficiencies which is a new thing to Modern Warfare 3. Um, then I'll explain the game modes and the maps, I'll leave a link in the description all about the map layouts, the website that shows you all the map layouts for every single map in Modern Warfare 3. Okay, so sit back, listen to the video and enjoy, commentary all the way. Here's the first set of assault rifles, the M4A1 which is the first gun you unlock along with the M16 and the Scar L you soon unlock that. Um, the Scar L is the gun that I use, I use it with red dot sight, it is very accurate as you can clearly see and it's got quite high damage and it kills your enemies with hardly any recoil. I'm moving on to the CM901, Type 95 and G36C. I haven't unlocked these yet, but all I know is the Type 95 is really powerful. It's like the UMP45 silence of Modern Warfare 2 into Modern Warfare 3, but it's three round burst, and I've picked it up before, and it's really good. And now we're on the ACR 6.8, MK14, and the AK47, good old AK. Um, MK14 looks really powerful, it looks like sniper damage, sniper accuracy and range, but I suppose like, it is semi-automatic, it's like the FN foul, looks better though, um, ACR, bit un bit underpowered, bit less accuracy this time, AK of course, still the amazing AK47. And now on the last one, the FAD has high fire rate, low damage, quite good accuracy, it looks like the last assault rifle you unlock. Now on to the SMGs, we've got the MP5 which is nice and it's not very accurate, it's got high fire rate, it's quite quite powerful when you use it um, and the UMP is quite still quite overpowered but it's amazing as usual um, the PP90M1, I'm not sure about that though, it's really fast but it's really not very accurate, it's really rapid now onto the P90, PM9 and MP7 the fire rate of the PM9 is insane if you, as you can see it's like so much recoil though, it's not very good P90 is quite fast, it's not very good anymore MP7 is quite good too. And finally, onto the snipers. We have the Barrett 50 Cal, which is the good old Barrett. It's always a one hit kill, I think, because look at the damage I've been using it. I've never ever got a hit marker. L118A, which is a bit like the L96 off of Black Ops. And then the Dragonov, of course, which is a bit shit, like a two hit kill. Sometimes it can be a one hit kill if you hit him in the head or upper torso. Now, onto the later level snipers, like the AS50, R RSASS and MSR. The MSR is pretty much like the intervention of Modern Warfare 3. I've been using it on um, survival mode and it's like a good crit scoping gun and it looks just like the intervention when you shoot it. When you reload it it's slightly different. Riot Shield. Yeah, Riot Shield's back like normal. Absolutely amazing. You get the Juggernaut in kill streaks where you get to use a Riot Shield, not like a USP or an LMG on your back. And yeah, it's pretty good on this game. It's just like Modern Warfare 2 Riot Shield. But right, now we're on to weapon proficiencies. We have Kick, which reduces weapon recoil. Impact increases bullet penetration, just like FMG on Modern Warfare 2. And then you have two attachments, just like Bling off Modern Warfare 2. Right, on to the second part of weapon proficiencies. You have Focus, which reduces the flinch when you get shot. Speed, so then when you've got a weapon equipped, it only works with light machine guns and sniper rifles when you're running. Um, breath, which allows you to steady your weapon by holding your breath for a limited time, which is a bit like st um, Steady Aim Pro off Modern Warfare 2. Right now we're on to stability, which reduces weapon sway while aiming. Range increases the weapon's range, doesn't work with light machine guns or sniper rifles though. And melee, faster melee, but only works with submachine guns. And damage, this increases damage for only shotguns though. And that's the mode, which is like the nuke of um, Modern Warfare 3, just like Modern, Warfare, Modern Warfare 2. Give you a bit of time to read that, because I can't be bothered to read it out. Now onto the assault pack strike package, which is the one which sort of helps yourself and sometimes your team, but usually yourself. You have the UAV, which is three kill streak without getting killed. Care package, which is four kill streak. LMS, which is like it's it's got a name there you can read yourself, and it's it basically it's a mine that can't be destroyed. And now I've got the Predator missile of Modern Warfare Two, Sentry gun of Modern Warfare Two, and Precision Airstrike of Modern Warfare Two. I think you all know what they do. Now we've got the attack helicopter just like of Modern Warfare 2, and now we've got the strafe run, which is a 9 kill streak, yeah, and I've had it before, and it's a bit of a waste. It's like 
a rolling thunder but with bullets and it's sort of like it, they just go it goes across the map and it kills all the it tries to kill all the enemies yeah but people in the buildings get away and it's not very good to be honest it's just like a stealth bomber but with bullets and then there's um, the ah6 overwatch which is also a nine kill streak um personal protection by following you and attacking enemies that you come across the reaper is sick it's like a laser it's like a laser uav thing that you control and then there's the assault drone which is like it's like a it's like a mini tank that you control and you're inside it it feels like but you don't actually die when it blows up and the ac130 just like a modern warfare 2 but this time it's a 12 kill streak right now we have the paver which is a 12 kill streak this time so it's pretty good juggernaug and now this on assault which is different to support is a 15 kill streak without getting killed and then you also get you get the lmg which it says there and you get a handgun and it lowers your mobility and it makes you less resistant to damage and it's really good and you have the Osprey Gunner, which you're inside it, and you get to shoot all the enemies. It's like better than the Tropical Gunner on Modern Warfare 2. And you also drop care packages for your mates and for other teammates. Now onto the support strike package. When you die, you stay on the kill streak. That's what makes it so good and easy to get. Right, you have UAV, counter UAV, and ballistic vests, which is like double health. People that pick it up and you get about five of them, and then your whole team can take them. And then you have a Booba Trapped Care Package, which you can't take, but the enemies can. And when the enemies take it, it blows up and kills them. They think they're taking a normal care package. They, don't, they can't see it on their radar. All they see is a care package. And it blows them up with a massive explosion. And then you've got the Sam Turret, and then you've got the Recon Drone, which is quite good. You have the Advanced UAV, which is like a blackbird. It shows enemy positions on the minimap and which way they're walking. You have the Remote Turret, which is a controllable turret, which can be placed anywhere. And then you have a stealth bomber, which is slightly better than a stealth bomber on all the other Call of Duties. We have the EMP, which is a 15 kill streak, not 18. Juggernaug Recon, which is basically you get a Juggernaug suit and you get a riot shield and a USP, which you can't pick up any other weapons. Um, you get to use that until you die, and you have like 20 times health. It's ridiculous. And you have escort airdrop, where you where you get care packages dropped by by someone else, which is a computer used person, and they drop you care packages, and then all the enemies that try to take your care packages will be killed by the Osprey Gunner until they are all taken. This kill, These kill streaks are really good. Basically you get two kills and you get a perk and then you get four kills and you get a perk and you get six kills and you get a perk and you get eight kills and you get all 15 perks in the game which is fucking awesome. Right now onto the tactical equipment. You have flash grenade, concussion grenade, scrambler which is just like a jammer of black ops, EMP grenade which disables enemy equipment and electronics, smoke grenade, trophy system which is like it detects explosives, it deflects explosives and explodes them and stuff. Um, tactical insurgents like a full the other quarter duties. And portable radar, which is uh, like, just like a motion sensor of Black Ops. And this is all the same pretty much stuff of Modern Warfare 2. Frag, Semtex, throwing knife. Throwing knife looks just like a normal throwing knife of Modern Warfare 2. The only new stuff is Bouncing Betty, which is pretty good. It's like a thing, like you walk over it and it's pretty much definitely going to be a kill. Now into the prestige shop. I think this looks pretty awesome. I've used it. I've used spent all my tokens, which is a bit silly. I wasted them all, to be honest. But um, you get for every token you spend, you get one of the following things: an extra custom class, which you can have up to five max. So you can have ten classes. Um, double XP for two hours in game time, which isn't much. But if you put two tokens on that at the same time, you get quad XP. And yeah, that's right, quad XP, which is amazing. And you have double weapon XP, because weapon XP gets you gold guns and different camos and more attachments. A um, regular package, which gives you a cool sign title emblem. Um, unlock gear, which is one item that's unlocked permanently, like maybe it's a high level weapon that you, that you want, like level 80 RPG. Um, a hardened package, a veteran package, which are both titles and emblems. And reset all stats, resets everything, including your prestige level. But you cannot use that unless you attempt prestige. And here's the perk listings, I'll just um, let you read that for a minute, you can pause it on the perks. Just... I hope you enjoyed my video, um, if any more information you need, just send me a message about it. Please like, comment, favourite, sub, I'll do some more about new games that are coming out, and soon I'll be getting a HD PVR and doing some montages. My gamer tag is TG Temper for Xbox Live. I don't have a PSN account because PSN is shit. I shall um, leave that in the comments and on my profile. Cheers.